Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. In today's scroll saw project video, we have an awesome, fun project designed by Steve Good. I hope everyone had a happy and safe Easter 2020. Easter Sunday was drastically altered this year because of what's going on out in the world, and my thoughts and prayers are still with everybody out in the world with everything that's going on. Um, my church, the home church that I attend, that I've been going to for years and years, or ever since I was a baby, did their um, Easter Sunday sermon over on a live Facebook stream, so it was still nice to actually be able to meet virtually in that regard and still celebrate Easter Sunday with family and loved ones. Um, and talking about loved ones, that is the project that we're doing today. It is a great representation of that famous three-word phrase, I love you. Love is freely given. Again, this is designed by Steve Good, and the material is three-quarter inch pine shoving board. Of course, it calls for three-quarter inch pine because it's designed to stand freely on its own. You can add a base to this. I'm not going to add a base to it because I think it's going to stand on its own perfectly fine. But this is an old pine shoving board that I took down and cleaned up some and just saved the piece for a while. And I think the age of the piece is going to stand out real good with this project. The pattern is already attached with clear packing tape. So all we got to do now is head over to the drill press and drill our pilot holes so we can come back and start scrolling. And over here on the drill press we are using a small drill bit to drill all of our pilot holes. I think it's about seven in this whole project. Not very many at all. And then we're going to head over to the scroll saw and start scrolling beginning with the U and I love you. That is the most detailed part of this whole entire cut and just taking my time with each individual letter. I am using number five reverse tooth sharp tooth scroll saw blades and they cut through the three quarter inch pine exceptionally well with minimal chip out which is always good and saves time when it comes to sanding. Doing the O here And we're going to go to the Y, and you just want to take careful care with the Y, with the small details it has. It's very fragile, and you'll see here I'm just taking my time and being very careful when cutting it out. If you guys would like to try this design, you can download it as a free pattern over at Steve Goods Scroll Saw Workshop Blogspot dot com website over in his free catalog. He has several designs to choose from. And now beginning the final cuts which will release the piece from the wood. We have a few parts here we can go on and cut away. The part around the heart that represents the O. And going along here and then we'll begin the final long outside cut and when I was cutting this part um, my blade slipped in the blade clamp and you see me there retensioning it I don't know why it slipped and then I added more soap for lubrication on the blade and now beginning the final long outside cut that will release the piece from the wood if you guys like what you're seeing, I would highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see all future updates and also browse some of my older videos. And also follow me online at my Instagram page at Artisan Pirate. I post a lot more there than I do over here on YouTube. around the V here and then we're going to go to the E and then when we get done here all scroll work will be done and then we can move on to sanding And over here at the workbench just carefully removing the piece and the pattern already looking nice and then we're going to go over to 
sanding and this is just 100 grit sandpaper in the palm sander. Doing small little circular motions and applying even pressure. And then we're going to head back over to the workbench and do some detail sanding with some 240 grit sandpaper. And get in all the little nooks and crannies and sand everything up nice and smooth. And then the project will be complete. And here we have the completed I Love You piece. This is a great representation of the famous three word quote of I Love You. I think it turned out real good. It scrolled exceptionally well over on the scroll saw. Nice look at it. It was just a little bit slower cut because it is three quarter inches thick. You can see the thickness there. So I just took my time with it and pine cuts exceptionally well over on the scroll saw. You just have to take your time with it because pine can be a little tricky to work with. It can dent, it can scratch, or a small piece will break off easily. So just take your time with it and your project will turn out great. If you decide to make this project, I would say make sure the grain is going this way and not this way. With the grain going this way, it just gives the letters more strength. This project is still fragile here in the V area and if um, pressure was added to it, it could easily snap off and break. So just be careful when you're sanding it. I sanded it with the palm sander and then some higher grit sandpaper free-handed and it turned out great and it sanded up nice and smooth. I'm not going to add a clear coat to it because I love how the grain looks now. Again, this was a pine shelf and when I took the shelf down, I cleaned it up a little bit to use it and pine is usually a light wood, but just because the shelf had been used for years, this piece turned out darker and I really like that. One more awesome look at it. I really like it and I hope you guys too. We all know someone that we love and care about, whether it be family members, our moms, our dads, anyone in our lives that we really care about. And in the times that we're living in, I hope that you all pick up the phone and call someone and tell them how much you love them. I tell people how much I love them all the time. And I really appreciate everyone in my life. And I want you guys to know, my followers and subscribers, that I love you all. And I hope you're all staying safe during everything that's going on in the world. And that will be about all for this video. And remember, guys, if I can make it or do it, so can you. I'm the Artisan Pirate. Tell someone you love them. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.